and welcome to the first full day of eating of this uh, next chapter here. I don't even want to call it like off season or improvement season. I mean, it's definitely improvement season, but I feel like any kind of season implies that I'm gonna compete again. And like right now, I don't know if that's ever gonna be the case. I know I'm allowed to change my mind whenever I want, but for now, we're just calling it our next chapter. So anyways, what I am doing today is obviously you saw my breakfast and then my little morning routine which by the way is filled with gifts from people in my life I'm so loved it just makes me feel very special so love that did a little bit of that this morning and right now I am walking over to the nail salon to meet Amanda because you know Amanda and I get our nails done she holds me accountable for this because I mean my nails they don't grow very fast right now because you know I was prep I was on prep I was nutrient deficient, okay, whatever. And I stopped taking hair, skin, and nails for skincare purposes because biotin could potentially be a trigger for acne. Um, so I basically cut that out and then I'll reintroduce it later to see if it's a trigger. So I don't know right now. But anyways, the point is Amanda keeps me accountable and I'm going over there to meet her. We're doing manicures and pedicures today because a huge chunk of my nail polish chipped off when I was home from one of my toes. Um, and then the holiday nails, uh, it's time to retire those. So let's be honest, I'll probably go with a very neutral pink or nude or what else is new. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see Amanda, catch up with her. And then later on, I am going to train with Lex. She got the same camera and same lens yesterday. So we're like excited to film and use it and learn about it because we have a lot to learn. And then I think we're going to make dinner together tonight and just keep taking over the world on a Saturday. So I know I said this is a full day of eating, but I can't do that without vlogging. So I will catch you when I catch you. Here's the new nails. There's Amanda's and it's <gasps> Amanda. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> She's back. Hey, we try. are making plans to just take over San Diego. You That's know. right. I'm so excited for us to explore together. Yes. Next so weekend. Many, She's taking me to movies. the Cove. Yeah. We're going to share all these like sites with you guys. It's going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> so yeah, got the same color on my toes, but I'm not going to show you my feet because that's weird. Anyways, self-care Saturday. About to go home, eat a bagel because your girl is so tired. And then we'll go train legs. So I will see you there. All right, bagel time. I'm going to show you the move. You get an everything but the bagel. Wait. What's it called? An everything bagel. You get an everything bagel from Trader Joe's, and then you take your butter spray and you just go ham on these bitches. All right, so we're covering him. He's great. He knows his journey. He's ready. And I kid you not, these with the bagel plus the butter spray taste just like Olive Garden breadsticks. I'm not even kidding you. So that's pre-workout. 
And then I already made up my post-workout shake, which is just one scoop of Formula One. I have the chocolate milkshake flavor here. This is protein and then half a scoop of ignition, which is carbs. Both are fast digesting. I feel like I've done a lot of talks on post-workout nutrition. So just know that I take this every single, after every single training session because it digests faster than whole foods and starts the recovery process ASAP. So I'm gonna enjoy this bagel. About to have super strength, the power of the bagel to go crush some legs and we'll go into that workout right meow. minute conversation about how excited we are about our cameras. Like check check it out. This is what you're you're looking This is for. what you are watching through yes. right now. And we don't even have to face the sunlight right now because the lighting is so good. So. Wow we're gonna have all the photo shoots, all the content. Get ready. <laughs> it's gonna be unfreaking real man. Also unfreaking real we both have our um post workout shakes Formula One in ignition, let's go! Let's go, no gains left behind. No, we just crushed it, just so you know. This Booty's workout will getting be thick. good for you, so yeah. do it. I'm, I'm getting thick. <laughs> Lexi says I'm a, a little too lean still to be saying that, so um, pull, Mary pull, pull, Thickness. Pull, on it. <laughs> All right, back from the gym, and this is the next meal here. I have my chicken thigh that I put panko breadcrumbs on and then put in the air fryer, so it's like little chicken poppers, which I talked about in the grocery haul, if you watched that last video. Um, but got those guys, got some jasmine rice, got some green beans, I put a little bit of soy sauce in there, and then I also threw some onions in there, and then I topped with some of this Bullet House Farms Sweet Heat Sriracha. This stuff is actually really good, which I know I reviewed it in uh, the last video, but yes. So that's the next meal and stay tuned for dessert because we have something real nice coming up. Okay, like always, I forgot to mention <laughs> something. I am taking my second dose of Harmony here. You take two doses a day. One dose is two capsules and it does have caffeine in it. So it has 75 milligrams of caffeine per dose. So you want to make sure you take it with your first meal of the day and then you know, probably not with dinner or anything like that, especially if you're sensitive to caffeine, but my bitch ass is gonna make a cold brew after this, so I'll, <laughs> I'll show you that as well. All right, so what we have for dessert here is a slice of this Trader Joe's maple streusel bread. Seriously, so good. And then I topped it with the maple walnut Walden Farms. You know how we do, and if you are curious, macros on a slice of this bread are four fat, 26 carb and three protein. You know I'm a sweet tooth fiend. You know we don't go without dessert around here, okay? So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna show you the cold brew, okay? You know I'm just kind of a psycho with my drinks, so catch you then. All right, cold brew crew checking in. And what's funny about this is a while back, Lexi and I had a conversation where we were like, dang, wouldn't it be dope if Costco carried cold brew? And we we're like, yeah, that would be amazing. And we always tried to like look for it. We can never find it. We eventually gave up. Yo, this week we're at Costco and we stumble upon this cold brew. Okay, Kirkland brand, that's Costco. Cold brew coffee, 100% Colombian. Colombian. I had one of these yesterday and I mixed it up the way I'm about to show you. And it tastes like smoke. It tastes smoky, like fire. Like, yeah, it's fire, but 
yeah, it tastes like a fire. So I don't know if that's a Colombian thing. It's two carbs per can. Ask my bitch ass if I track this. The answer is no. <laughs> so anyways, here's what you do. Step one, you get your favorite reusable cup. Step two, you fill them with ice, cause for volume. We wanna feel like we're drinking a lot, right? Step three, you crack open your cold brew. Step four, you pour them on in. Step five, stevia. Step six, sugar-free creamer. Step seven, almond milk. Step eight, <laughs> reusable straw, stir him on up. Whoa. Step nine, clean up mess you made cause you got too hype about cold brew. Step 10, cheers. Oh yeah, creamy, good, smoky. I might add a little more stevia because I'm a sweet tooth fiend. But yeah, that's how you do it. And it's so good. So, so good. A fun little treat. I just have been a little exhausted lately. And I know that it's hormonal. Like it's that like PMS exhausted where you just can't fix it. But you try with cold brew, ladies. You know what I'm talking about? Um, which sucks because <laughs> when I was home for Christmas, I was like hormonal AF, like just so bad, such bad PMS symptoms. I was like a psycho. I could not go out into the world because I could not deal with people. I was just irritable, impatient. Um, and then of course, as you know, if you watched my little reverse diet um, chat at the end of the last video, I was holding water, uh, my weight was fluctuating. Like I, it was not a question that the hormones were happening. So it's like, damn it, I just got over that. But Lexi is about to start her period and I'm like, Ooh, here we go again. So it's a struggle, but that's why I'm taking Harmony. That's why I'm fueling myself now. You know, more calories are going to bring things back into line, but it's not gonna happen overnight, right? I didn't get here overnight. I ain't gonna get out of here overnight, okay? So hormones fucking suck. Keep this in mind if you ever wanna compete. This is a huge reason why I'm just like, yo, coming out of this shit really sucks. And the thought of just fueling myself for training, like I feel really good on my leg days when I'm eating 300 carbs <clears throat> and I feel strong and I feel good. I could feel that way all the time. Like what a concept, what a concept. I can go through life feeling fucking amazing. So that's why the thought of competing again, uh, not only prepping, but competing itself like show day and the reverse out of it. Like all of it, I just like, I can't fathom that right now. So anyway, here's the cold brew. All the good vibes today. We're feeling a lot better. We're gonna ride this high until the hormones hit again. Maybe this time they won't be so bad. I don't know. You will, you will be updated because we vlog in these days. But anyway, there's that. Um, the next meal is definitely gonna be shroom burgers. And at some point, Lexi and I are going to exchange gifts. So maybe we'll vlog that. But whatever happens next, I will catch you there. All right, so we're gonna start making dinner soon, but your girl is a hungry girl these days, especially on leg day. It's kind of cool, but I just have a plain rice cake here with my plant-based cream cheese that is in my grocery haul, if you didn't watch that, and some everything but the bagel seasoning. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I will show you Dindin. And here we have Dindin. So I just put a little bit of this vegan mozzarella this from trader joe's on top of my burger put a little bit of these these ketchup on there and i'm gonna dip my little tater chips in there as well we just air fried those and then bay just sauteed some veggies we combined some shrooms that we had with some fajita veggies that were pre-cut picked up at ralphie's and uh we sauteed them in Soy sauce. So there's all of my goodness. Bay is putting guac on her shroom burger. I'm so excited. I'm lit. I'm always lit. Lit! <laughs> I thought we were about to do something sexual with the fucking sauce. <laughs> okay. So with that, we are going to enjoy our 
roomy den on a Saturday night and I will catch up with you for the last meal. Okay, so Lex and I just exchanged little stocking stuffer gifts and I just gotta say, if you think you have the best roommate in the world, you're wrong and you'll always be wrong because Lexi's my roommate and she's never getting away from me. <laughs> <laughs> never leaving. Oh. I'll just show you real quick, but look at this dope new mug. Big guy, big guy. Wake up and be awesome. Pink, it's perfect. And then of course we've got the goods here, some Moscato. I actually got three bottles, cause there's, like- There's another one. I just couldn't fit four. Oh shit, okay. It came in four over of four things. Yes, like how great that she got me four. Not just one, not just two, not even just three. <laughs> um, got some fun little sockies here. Got little ducks. Got little penguins. Got some Flava Flav decaf, because honestly, the decaf cups that I have now suck ace hole. Um, so pumped for this. Got this cute little bracelet. It says love. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's dark. Obviously, the focus is fleeking, but cute, right? Got a few new almond butters. We've never seen this brand. Um, good and gather. So pumped to try these guys. Gum, cause duh. This dope ass Sagittarius candle. Okay, he's in there. But how cool is the freaking container? So cute. And what we're about to do is bust into these two seasonal, well, I don't know if they're both seasonal, but Lex said she found the Valentine's Day candy. So naturally she picked these up for me, but we got white cheesecake M&Ms and hazelnut spread. So we're, we're gonna vlog taste test on, on both our channels. So it's lit and we will show you that. Okay, so which one do we wanna do first? Let's do the white cheesecake. Okay. Which one do you think you're gonna like more? The hazelnut. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Unless the white cheesecake, I'm assuming it's white chocolate, which we all know. Oh, yeah. I dig. Oh God. We might need the, might need scissors. Well, we'll just tear them. Okay. I hate opening things like that. I have, a, I have a very certain way I like to open things. <laughs> Why does that not surprise no. me at all? <laughs> all right. Okay. So they're pink and white, which is really cute. White chocolate is there. It tastes just like a white chocolate M&M. Oh. That's really, really freaking we good. We love white chocolate. So, uh. Mm-hmm. If you like white chocolate, you need those. Holy nuts. I love candy. Wow. <laughs> I'm high key impressed with those. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't good. know why I had in my head when I picked them up that they were gonna be strawberry. I don't know why the fuck I thought that. Probably because they're in like a pinkish bag and they're white and pink. Okay. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I get a hint of nut. Yeah, like it's not as much like Nutella <coughs> as it is like legit <clears throat> hazelnut. You know what I mean? Yeah. It definitely tastes nutty. Not like Nutella. And I ended up liking the white ones better, so. Yeah, <laughs> I like the white ones. Yeah. But they're, they're not bad. It just tastes more like a regular M&M. Yeah. But. I was Good. like, you wanna, should we taste test the trees? <laughs> no, those are yours, girlfriend. <laughs> I've tried that many times. But. We had cute stockings, just so everybody knows. And now we have to take down our Christmas decorations and it's really sad. It is sad. Anyway, there's our gift update. <laughs> Catch up with you later. <laughs> All right, listen. Your girl had a really bomb final meal planned. You know, some oats, some almond butter, some pumpkin spice latte level one, some fruit. But <laughs> this pint of Halo Top is literally very close to the exact same macros as my final meal. And all I want to do is eat an entire pint of Halo Top and watch. Amazon Prime. So that's what I'm going to do. As a health and fitness coach, what I recommend you do this on the reg, 
No, okay. but what I do recommend is you honor yourself and you love yourself. And if that means an entire pint of dairy-free Halo Top, then do it, sis. Okay? So that's going to be the end of this full day of eating. And that's everything that I have for you. So let me know if you have video suggestions or anything like that since we are getting back on the vlog game here. But as always, if you watched until now, I am taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.